hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be going ahead and doing the mommy tag um for those of you who are new to my channel welcome thank you so much for joining if you have not done so yet please subscribe for my subs my returning subscribers welcome back um so some of you might know i am a mom i do have three children <sighs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get into this tag the first question is how old were you when you had your first child i had my first child at 23 i gave birth four days after my 23rd birthday to my oldest the next question number two question number two hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months so my first pregnancy was a full nine months um, that pregnancy was not bad at all. However, my second pregnancy, it didn't last for nine months. I actually gave birth to a micro preemie. He was born at 26 weeks and he weighed one pound. He was 12 inches long. Um, so that was relative, that, that was hard, just giving birth that early and things like that. And my third pregnancy, my due date was in October and I had to deliver a few weeks earlier because since my second pregnancy resulted in emergency C-section, they did not want me to go into labor and start contracting or anything with my third child. So I had a scheduled C-section and my daughter was actually born four weeks, four to, yeah, four weeks before her due date. Um, That's my last child. Question number three, any good things you enjoyed during pregnancy? I, I, I enjoyed the belly, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that was a great part of being pregnant. Um, my boobs got bigger, who don't like that? <laughs> my boobs got bigger for free. So yeah, that was a good part of being pregnant. And I just enjoyed growing another human. I just enjoy that process. So. That's my answer. For number four, were all of the things true about labor or way off? Um, some of the things I heard about labor were, was true. Some of the things I heard about labor was way off. I remember getting a piece of advice from my cousin and it, this helped me through my first pregnancy tremendously or my first birth experience tremendously. The piece of advice was given to me was breathe. Remember to breathe. When you're going through the contractions or you're feeling any sense of pain, when you're in labor, remember to breathe. And just remembering that key step helped me through my labor with my first child. But some of the other things were off. Like after I had my second, I had a classical C-section. Um, I was cut vertically and horizontally and um, I know some family members who also had C-sections were wondering why I was walking hunched over, you know, days after giving birth. And they were like trying to force me, you have to stand up or you're, you're not gonna heal properly, forcing me to walk, forcing me to stand up. And when I discussed that with my doctor, he said, no, don't listen to them. You know, listen to your body, take your time and heal because you did not have a regular C-section, so. I'm glad that I was vocal with my physician and was able to get that answered because I could have actually hurt myself or pulled something or just prolong the healing process if I was listen if I would have listened to what others were suggesting I do. Okay, question number five. Would you handle childbirth different if you could redo it? Um Absolutely, with all of my children, I wish, looking back now, um, at the age I am now, I wish I would have had a doula just to help me through that process. That's something that I really regret not getting or not looking into further. I know with my first child, I wasn't familiar with it. My second child was like kind of an emergency situation, but I, I wish I had a doula for all of my pregnancies. <laughs> Okay, question number six. What is your advice for someone about to have a baby? 
Um, my personal advice to anyone who is pregnant or looking to become pregnant or soon to be mom, dad, parent, um, I would just say do your research, learn your body, do your research, and be vocal about your healing process. And I think that we don't take enough time or we don't get enough people talking about postpartum, like after birth. And that's a really, really tough time for a lot of people. And I think that we should kind of focus or do research on things to do um, postpartum, like recognize your feelings, recognize your emotions, recognize your body. If it's not doing something that it used to do or it should be doing, be vocal about that things, have a support system to lean on. That's what I would suggest doing. Okay, question number seven. What is the hardest thing about being a mom? So for me, the hardest thing about being a mom, and I find myself struggling with this a little bit more lately, surprisingly, um, is finding time for myself without feeling guilty. I tend to feel extremely guilty lately when I do something for myself and it does not include the kids. That can be going to get my you know, my monthly massages or getting my nails done, getting my toes done, you know, fixing my hair or just spending time with myself. I'm like, okay, well, I'm spending time with myself. I should just bring her along because she's old enough to do, you know, her toes too, or she would enjoy, or, you know, one of the children would enjoy this movie that I'm watching by myself or, you know, um, I'm working toward, I'm working through that, just the mom guilt. That's the hardest thing I would say about being a mom is for, for myself. And if you are feeling mom guilt, just know that you are not alone in this. Just know that you can't pour from an empty cup. And that's what I'm starting to learn. I cannot pour from an empty cup and I cannot make the, my children happy nor my husband happy if I'm unhappy. So I have to focus on self-care. That's why I do self-care Sundays. And I'm about to go ahead and <laughs> do that self-care Sunday soon after this video so number eight what is the most rewarding thing about being a mom um the most rewarding thing about being a mom is just watching them grow and just i made people <laughs> you guys ever seen that tiktok i made people so i made people i have i'm watching them grow and i'm watching them grow into their personality more and more each day and that's a blessing and i'm just glad to be along this journey along with my husband and their my children's support system just molding them into the adults that they will one day be so that's the most rewarding thing for myself and i wrote the questions down so that's why you see me keep looking down question number nine what's something that's what's some what is something that having a child has taught you what is something that having a child has taught you? So I have three children and these three little people have all taught me something different. My oldest has taught me compassion. My oldest is an empath. She's very empathetic to everybody's situation. Um, she just showed me compassion, just be a little bit more empathetic to everybody or empathetic to people's situation and just to kind of take off that hard shell if you know what I mean my middle child has taught me strength he's taught me strength because he was born again like I said at 26 weeks he was a micro preemie we have seen this boy just be you know was so tiny hooked up to tons and tons of machine and you know, you have to rub his feet to make sure, you know, you, you're stimulating so he's breathing or eating and he, he just seeing him go through that process has taught me strength. That, that, that taught me strength. My youngest daughter has taught me patience because when I tell you she, she works my nerves, <laughs> she works my nerves but i'm learning to be patient and i love that about her is because sometimes you just have to take a step back and not take life so seriously and when you take a step back and assess the situation it's really not that serious so 
I'm glad that I'm able to learn that lesson with her. And number 10, the last question is describe your child in one word. So again, I have three children, so I described my three children in one word. My oldest is ambitious. She is ambitious. My second child is driven. And my third child is determined. She's determined just to be whatever she sets her mind to, that girl's gonna achieve it because <laughs> you you cannot break her spirit and I love that about her and that's it. That is it. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this mommy tag. If you have any questions and related to any of the um any of the questions that I answered, if you want each pregnancy and childbirth were different. So if you guys want to go ahead and get a story time on my first birth, my second birth, or my third birth, go ahead and comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.